Bypass Engineering. Well, uh, the Longdendale, Longdendale Bypass has always, always runs into trouble because I happen to mention a hedgehog. And I wish I hadn't because there happens to be an hedgehog, hedgehog preservation society. I didn't know that. I know about tiddlywinks. From, uh, but I didn't know about this. And I just oh, yeah, Bertin, I didn't mean it. I said, if the old hedgehog or slug gets run over when we build this bypass, that will be unfortunate. Well, I'm, I, yeah, I'm glad I didn't mention anybody human being run over. <laughs> Because that really brought the, 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 the ceiling down on me. I didn't mean it. I like head jogs. <laughs> and so to offset the small number of trees that will be lost if successfully the Longdon Air Bypass goes through it, I've had planted just to the north 4,500 new trees, which is many, many times more than what the trees will be lost and uh, for those who are green uh, trees absorb carbon dioxide 75 kilograms per year each an average tree uh, so they'll be doing their bit to do that and i intend if we get permission from united utilities and the tenant farmers to increase that wood to 10,000.